Hello and uh, welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews um, back after a short trip to Madrid in Spain and um, I've got a few beers to catch up with now because I've had a few sitting at home for a while so I thought I'd better start playing catch up um, and I'm going to get the ball rolling again with an IPA from uh, Kona Brewing Company from Hawaii and it is a bottle of their Hanalei Island IPA that is a lovely label look at that kind of takes you there doesn't it and on a hot day like it is today that's the kind of place i wouldn't mind being right now oh yeah so hanalei island ipa this is a beer brewed with passion fruit orange guava and natural flavorings it says here on the bottle it's coming in at 4.5 percent abv there is the the bottle cap the kona brewing co bottle cap very nice um i love the bottle I don't know if you can see it in the glass, it's got like the, in the glass, it's got like the islands of Hawaii. And uh, it's got written under there, it says Liquid Aloha. I might be able to make it out better when the bottle's empty, but um, really nicely presented beer this. Uh, I've had this sitting about for a while. Looking forward to getting stuck into this one now because I am thirsty. So let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Uh, loads of smoke on the opening and it goes into the glass I'm expecting a very light drinkable fruity affair with this one I'm getting a lovely aroma from it from here um, so there it is in the glass I'll leave the bottle there so we can all see the artwork Leave that there. There is the Hanalei Island IPA from Kona Brewing. Um, quite light in colour. Good levels of carbonation, as you can see. Lots of bubbles rolling up the glass. Head has disappeared, done that pretty quickly. Um, it looks tasty. It's a very, very slight haze to it. But generally, it's, uh, that's pretty much a transparent looking IPA. Let's give it a bit of a wriggle and get a proper sniff of this one. Orange juice, definitely. A bit of grapefruit. Certainly smells tropical. What did they say it was brewed with? Passion fruit, orange, definitely guava. I'm not too familiar with the smell of guava if I'm I'm honest, but certainly um, grapefruit. You are getting the passion fruit. Lots of orange. Very orangey. This one does smell nice. It's not got the um, the most you know the strongest aroma to it, but it's very fruity. Quite sweet smelling. That's pleasant. I'm gonna get a taste. Cheers, guys. As I expected, really. Very light on the taste. You get in the orange. Loads of orange. It's really fruity. Really light. It's very drinkable. Slight bit of hoppiness on the back end. Not much. All about the fruit with this one. It's so light. Like really light, and it's got a really light, easy drinking characteristic to it. It's um, oh, it's lovely. It's really nice, sweet on arrival. Very sweet in particular. Again, you're getting that orange, orange taste, the passion fruit. It's like a bit of grapefruit, maybe a little bit of pineapple on the flavour as well. Um, but it's very sweet. And it's uh, on, on really on the on the tip of the tongue. Lots of sweetness, lots of fruity sweetness. Really easy drinking. This is really nice. It's almost um, like a slight honey um, taste to it. Really sweet. Really, really sweet. 
No real middle ground to it, no, not much in the way of a mortiness to it. Very subtle hoppiness at the back end. It's a slight bitterness at the back end just to kind of remind you that you're drinking a beer. Um, but this is dangerously drinkable. Um, this is chilled um, as opposed to cold. Um, so I'm probably picking up more of the fruit. I've probably got it about the right the right temperature. Um, you could probably have one of these freezing cold and it would be uh, it would be just fine I reckon. I think the the flavours aren't um, I don't know, maybe maybe if it was a bit colder you it, you might lose a bit of the fruitiness at the beginning, it might take a bit out of it. Uh, but having it kind of chilled like this, I think I've got it just about spot on. You get lots lots of the orange. Definitely lots of the passion fruit. Like I said, I'm not really familiar much with guava. Um, so I would, I'm assuming there's a guava taste to it. <laughs> but definitely orange, definitely passion fruit, grapefruit, bit of pineapple. Really sweet, almost honey sweet on arrival. And it just, it's very smooth, it's really drinkable. It uh, doesn't have a particular fizzy mouthfeel to it. It's really tasty. It's a really nice fruit bomb of an IPA. And there's only a subtle hoppiness at the back end. Really easy drinking. Really, really easy drinking this one. It's nice. It's a nice, sweet, everyday IPA this is. This is decent. Um, I'll give it a score. Um, I'm going to give it, um, I think I'll give it a 7. A 7 out of 10. Love the bottle, love the presentation. You can see the, the map a little bit more there. Liquid Aloha, that's what it says. And there is kind of the map of the islands of Hawaii there. Lovely artwork on the bottle. I picked this one up in Marks and Spencers, I do believe. And um, that's the first time I've ever come across it. First time I've ever heard of Kona Brewing Company. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping I can find a few more because that's nice. That's a nice, fruity, refreshing IPA. I could do a few of those quite happily. And um, as far as I'm concerned, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Um, not particularly hoppy. If you want a hot bomb of an IPA, this isn't the one. But if you want a, uh, a refreshing, sessionable IPA with a lot of fruit, this is definitely the one. Um, really refreshing, perfect for a day like today. It's pushing 30 degrees again here in the southeast corner of England. I don't know when this summer's going to end, but it's, it's we've had a cracker. We've had a really good summer so far. It's hot all the time. We could do with some rain, actually, but I'm not going to moan too much. It is July. Um, yeah, this this absolutely nails it. This is, hits the spot today, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. 7 out of 10 for uh, Kona Brewing's Hanalei Island IPA, available in Marks & Spencer's. Go out, grab a bottle, let me know what you think. Give the video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Um, I think I might have said in one of my previous videos, you might have to click on the little bell icon um, to make sure that you're being notified as to when I update new videos. Um, thank you to those who subscribed recently. Um, I do appreciate it. It's great that the, the channel's starting to pick up a few viewers. That uh, makes it a bit more worthwhile. But um, yeah, please get in touch. Let me know what you're drinking. Let me know if you've had this one. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.